The king would see him. Now he respectfully suggests that a salary be granted our soldiers commensurate with their sacrifice. But he has no money on hand to pay them. Tents, soap, shoes, and blankets are also greatly wanted. The army recently took shipment of 50 crates of rifles, all without the flints required to shoot them. The proclamation by King George III. Many of our subjects, misled by a desperate conspiracy of dangerous and ill-designing men, have forgotten the allegiance which they owe to the power that has protected and supported them and have declared rebellion and traitorously levied war against us. It is the better part of wisdom to put a speedy end to such disorders. We have thought fit to issue our royal proclamation that all our royal officers, both civil and military, are obliged to suppress such rebellion and bring the traitors to justice. When the unhappy and deluded multitude against whom this force shall be directed shall become sensible of their error, I shall be ready to receive the misled with tenderness and mercy. For those who persist in their treason, for those who persist in their treason, the punishment shall be death by hanging. Given in Parliament this 26th day of October in the year 1775. God save the King. God damn the King. God bless the King. Who else could have brought such a spirit of unity to this Congress? <laughs> we will now all hang together. Or most assuredly, we will all hang separately. The question is no longer whether there shall be independence, but when. If we force a decision too soon, we may reap disaster. Independence without unanimity means nothing. I am in complete agreement, Doctor. I will leave immediately. The Virginia Convention must free us to act. All 13 clocks must strike at the same second.